Hi, it's Michelle here from CNC Designs. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in New Zealand. And I just wanted to show you some um, fabulous cards that I've made recently using a uh, product download from Stampin' Up! It's called the Share Sunshine uh, PDF file. And it was created so um, Stampin' Up! could give back to a couple charities that are helping out um, in the midst of our COVID-19 pandemic. And so I want to start off with showing you um, the site that you can go to. Now, you don't have to go through a demonstrator to purchase this. Um, it comes uh, emailed direct to you as a PDF file, and then you can print off these images and use them in your card making and your creativity. Um, so this is the page um, online. So if you look there, I will put this link at the bottom of my um, video. But just to have a look, it's uh, covid19.stampinup.com uh, slash products. And then um, you'll see the give back. Um, I've opened up the English version, English Canadian. There's other versions. Um, I'll just pop back and just show you the base. So that's the website you go to, covid19.stampinup.com. And then there's different versions, um, so you can get it in the language of where you are, because this is available to anybody in the entire world. Uh, the price is $12. You get 15 pages of images and sayings that are relevant for what we're all um, experiencing right now. And you can print them off, it's just like buying a stamp, it's yours forever, so you can use it as much as you want. You're not allowed to um, give the file to anyone else or to on sell it to anyone else. So if somebody wants it, they need to purchase it. Um, and you are not allowed to resize any of the images, so you can just print them in the sizes that they are. Um, so that just shows you that we've got the US, Canadian, English, we've got English for UK, Japan, Australia, and New Zealand. Um, there's also a German version, uh, a French version, a, um, a French France version, and a French um, Quebec, I believe that is, Canada version, and there's a Dutch version. So I'll just quickly show you. This is the website you go to to purchase it. And so there it is. That just shows you briefly some of the images you get. And then um, you add it to the cart and you need to use a credit card or a debit card. It charges $12 US, no matter what country you're in, so the conversion rate would depend on where you're at. Um, and the organizations the money is going to is the World Health Organization and United Way um, Organization. When you check out, you can actually choose um, whether to have 100% go to one or the other or to split it amongst the two of them. Um, so you can go there to get the images they get uh, emailed, you get an email link so you can print the images, save the images to your computer and then you can print them anytime you want. Um, and you can print them multiple times, use them lots. Um, I, uh, let's see if I can get there. So that's how it comes. That's the PDF and there are rules um, and regulations. Um, terms of use. So as I said, you can't on sell them and you can't alter them in any way. So you can't change the colors, etc. Explains how to print it. Also, the first few pages explains which colors were used for the images. So if you want to match them with um, your cardstock, uh, your Stampin' Up! cardstock, you can do that. And it tells you which products coordinate to cut them out. So they are spaced on the pages to allow you to use um, dies or punches to cut them out um, completely. So that's a great um, resource at the first few pages. And as you continue down, it tells you the page number, what colors were used, what dies. Um, or you can just simply do what I did with a lot of them. Just uh, I did a screen snip, so I put a lot of them onto um, Word pages, did not change the size of anything. And then I just printed as many as I could out and then cut them into rectangles. Then the next couple pages are in um, Japanese and then there's the images. So you get a black uh, and white image and then you get a colored image um, and those images vary depending on um, which colors they chose to go with. So that's why it talks about colors. So if you just want simple black and white or if you want colored and there's lots of different colors there um, and one thing I would like to point out to you um, on the one that I got, which is for New Zealand English, um, 
and UK English, etc. Uh, they do have pajamas spelled a couple different ways because um, depending on which country you're in, you will spell it, spell it P-A-J-A-M-A-S or you might spell it P-Y-J-A-M-A-S. So just to make you aware of that, at first I didn't understand why they had this multiple times, but see there's with the Y and there's with the A. So um, just be aware of that when you're printing it out. Um, I'm in New Zealand, and here we would spell it with a Y, but I'm American, so I would spell it with an A. So um, I printed the wrong ones, but my friends will understand. So lots of different images, beautiful images. Some of them work together. Some of them you can see would obviously be used with our heart punch. Um, other ones are space that they could be used with dyes. Um, lots of different colors. You've got some that are uh, good for thanking um, those that have been helping during the pandemic so thank you for your service for your care for your sacrifice um, and different colors I did not use all of these images um, some of them I didn't want to use so that's why I did a screen snip and then just pasted in a word without changing the size um, and that way I picked um, out the ones that I wanted to use and this one here where it says though blank apart we are close at heart so that allows you to put in hand write in whatever you want for that part and this is considered um, the Ser share sunshine um, document some people refer to it as that so there's the hashtag share sunshine to put um, in your uh, the items that you make so now I will show you what I did so I ended up as I said screen snipped got three pages of word um, uh, of a Word document, printed it out. My printer uh, needs a bit of ink, um, so it's it's not doing the best at the moment, but being in lockdown, I wasn't able to go get any. So I originally started out thinking I would um, do the double uh, wonder, uh, one sheet wonder, um, where you cut two sheets at a time and you get, can intermingle the um, colors. So I was going to do that, um, and then I ended up getting colors that didn't match the sentiments I printed. And so in the end, um, I ended up getting a lot of the um, items that I had um, uh, put aside when I'd been making projects in the past, and I hadn't finished them. And quite often, I, I don't know if it happens to you, but for me, I make things and I have something cut out and it's just not quite right, so I just put it in a pile. I don't throw things away. And so I got those piles of bits and pieces out and ended up creating some of those uh, cards with that. So here we go. Um, I'm not going to show you how to make these cards. I will have a video about the Double Wonder um, in the near future, or you can look it up online because some of these cards are using products that I've had for years <laughs> and um, are no longer available that I just threw them together with cards. So most of them I'll talk you through some of the colors and things um, if possible and then other ones you'll be able to tell. So anyway, I like this one. I'm really all here, just socially distant. And those colors matched um, the designer series paper there. I'm going to pop these cards into mailboxes um, down the street for where I am. Um, when I go walking tomorrow. So a lot of them I've put a little um, bit with a re reusable um, tape in there so they can just peel off the paper that just says this little card was made for you to brighten up your day. If it made you smile then its job is done and you should send it on its way. Please give it to someone you know to pass along the cheer since all of us need to know there is always someone there. So I'm just going to pop these in uh, mailboxes randomly with an envelope of course um, just to brighten up people's day. And um, basically because I just wanted to make the cards and I have no one here to show because we still can't have people come into our homes. So there we go. Um, so this is another one, similar style, again with um, the same two strips. I can't wait to social distance with you. I'm trying to hold it where you can see it. And so um, most of them I won't open because... Um, They've uh, got the same things inside. This one's done with um, the little note cards and envelopes that we have, the scalloped, scalloped note cards and envelopes, which is still available till June 2nd. Uh, so those colors lent themselves to a few little scraps. So not alone, just a part. Another one with the double wonder. Um, my printer wasn't printing the um, colored ink um, very 
uh, dark, I think because I need to get more ink. So um, this is supposed to be mint macaron. So everything will be okay, we just can't see what okay looks like from here. And then on the inside I just use a little extra scrap just to give some color. Quite often I like to decorate the inside of my cards. So here's another one, wishing I was in quarantine with you. Uh, so I've used some dies to cut out those different sections. And again, another little scrap inside. So these are the two same designs I just use die cutting in different colors on there. This one sending joy and sunshine and not germs and this one actually opens from the side. So I mixed it up a bit, did cards differently. That one wish this were a real hug, a real in-person hug. And then I just got the I miss you so much. Again that was from the um, printout. This one, I've seen a few online where people have made cute little face masks, so I printed that. It says, I'm smiling under this face mask, and then I just scored on it a bit. I'd cut it out with the um, stitched rectangle, and then I just scored it a few times and scrunched it up a bit to make it look like a mask, and then added some ribbon to the edge. This one here, just breathe but wear your mask. So this was, again, the double wonder. I had the four pieces, and I just put it on the black background and then ran um, the whole thing with the four pieces and the black through the embossing folder. That's the um, stone one that was available during celebration. And then just a little extra piece on the inside. So use extra bits here and there. Though hours apart, we're close at heart. It's the same um, designer series paper, it's just the flip side of what I've shown you already. And that's Knight of Navy ribbon and then just a few little blings with a little heart there that is a bit, you can see it a bit in the light there. And again, extra little strip on the inside. I can't wait to hug you when this is all over. I like that. This is a swirly one that's from the um, Poppy the Painted Poppy die set. I can't remember the name of that off the top of my head. Um, and then I believe this is the Artisan Textures, the blobs in the background, just to give it some um, texture on the background of the card and then a few um, gems that I had. And again, that little bit to match the designer series paper there. Another one like that. It's your birthday. Let's digitally party. I'm sure there's been lots of people having birthdays during this time that you can't be out with people. And then just some white card stock so they can write on the inside. This is a similar um, design that you've already seen, but this time I've got the sending love and paper hugs. And then just put a few little heart stamps around there. That's from the Nine Lives stamp set. The um, cat set has some hearts, and if you can see, there's just a little heart gem. The heart gems are available as well to purchase. Just checking nothing inside there. Again, same um, design setup that you've already seen. Uh, you are essential to me. So this is the Night and Navy cardstock there, and that's um, sometimes um, a few of them that's Old Olive, and other ones that's um, Granny Apple Green, and there's a few times it actually looks like mint macaron. So it depends on how your printer um, prints it out, what effect you get. There, another one of the scalloped um, cards. So just simple thank you for your sacrifice. So the for your sacrifice is the mint macaron and then that's the old olive which is the color of the cards. And then we've got uh oh something stuck. So stay home and stay safe or just stay home stay safe. I colored that um, heart with the Stampin' Blends Dark Knighted Navy to match this and then it says life may look a little different but we are all in this together. So cheerful you know cards to um, try to make people feel better. This one here, um, the background, I stamped, uh, oh that's why it's stuck, I stamped that um, Oh, a year ago, I think. That's from the Butterfly Gala, I think it is, um, stamp set, uh, the little bubbles. And I stamped that when I was creating a card and die cut it and then never did um, do anything with it. Um, so 
this time it I thought the colors matched quite well here and I embossed the cardstock here uh, Daffodil Delight and then just did a few more bits of the bubbles on the inside so this I created um, yesterday but this here was created probably a year ago so that's where you can use some of the scraps that you have sitting around waiting to be used so then I've got the I totally share my toilet paper with you <laughs> I really like that one it looks like a big stream of toilet paper there's a lot of really cute ideas online making the toilet paper cards um, and then just a strip on the inside and so that's it without cutting it out and that's um, the gray tone should be black but as I said my ink's not doing too well so I layered that up on another gray um, piece cut out with the stitched rectangles onto the hexagon um, background that background you might see in a few of my cards because I had that for a class uh, probably two years ago um, and it was left over so I went through some of my kits and found all my leftover bits and decided to put cards together so that's not all that's just the start of them so now these ones I really think are cute so that's the same hexagon but it's turned over so that's the other side of it so um, you can get different effects depending on which side you have for your embossing folder so there we go um, this one let's just roll with it those two are actually on the same image and I cut fussy cut them apart this um, was when I first got my Stamparatus I was trying out uh, the wreath technique and you can look that up online as well um, I might maybe do one of those videos in the near future where believe it or not you cut out a square in different angles and you put your square piece and you just keep turning it a, par a partial turn and stamp the same stamp and it gives you um, sets up differently here I change the color every time I stamped it so that's the same exact stamp but using the Stamparatus I got this kind of floral look so I tried that out um, when I first got my Stamparatus I think that was probably a year or so ago and just didn't do anything with it until now so the colors are quite similar to what I used here so I thought it looked quite well and then in here I've got the sending love and if I could toilet paper so another cute little one there these three cards I'm going to send to family um, and friends um, in the USA so hopefully they're not watching this <laughs> so I love um, these images uh, so have another quarantini it's like a normal martini but you drink it at home alone and so with this I've done um, the uh, artistic expression um, stamp there's some little blobs like little bubbles so I stamped those around the edge believe it or not that stamped in pool party which is the color I did for um, coloring in the martini so the pool party on the old olive makes it look kind of green I used the uh, settles embossing folder after I had already cut um, this rectangle with the rectangle dies and th this rectangle here was actually left over from a project as well so that was left over from a project and then I popped this up on some um, die cuts and then on the inside to mimic the um, color of um, the Calypso Coral um, cardstock I think it's Calypso Coral uh, I just stamped a few little bits again from that artistic um, expressions uh, stamp so this one here fairly similar with the background stamped um, and then here I just had that separate so I popped that up separate uh, if you are coloring anything in I colored this with my blend so I use pool party old olive and clips of coral if you color things in with the blends remember it bleeds through the cardstock so you don't want to color it on the piece when it's already attached you want to color it on something before you attach it so those colors um, lend themselves I think that's actually supposed to be petal pink but um, again my printer didn't print it very well so it goes quite well with those colors there and then I just did some of the blobs around the inside to decorate that one this one I had a little strip left over and I don't like to throw things out so I just popped it through embossing folder um, and then popped these bits up and those are some um, gems that again I had left over um, from a while back and this one I didn't decorate the inside just left that one blank but that opens differently 
but I'm not done yet. So here's some more. Save the cute ones for last. So this one, those six feet apart were close at heart. I've seen a few um, cards online using the meerkat. They were in the celebration um, set. And so this one I had hearts already cut out from Valentine's, um, which didn't do a class for. Um, so I just put them together here. And again, um, I already had this embossed piece of crumb cake for the background. So I just put the bits and pieces together and printed that out in the crumb cake color. And I think it looks quite good together. And I just put a few little hearts on the inside. And then more mirror cats. Again, not my idea. I saw somebody online doing this. So these are actually the little party hats that came with the mirror cat set. Um, and you just snip the, this would be the top of it down here. You snip that top triangle off and turn them around to make little uh, masks. And the background was when I was um, trying out um, the pigments, I believe it was. So I was trying that, sprinkling in all, and I just um, never did use that piece. Didn't really speak to me at the time, so I had it set aside, and it worked perfectly for here. So I fussy cut around the I Miss Your Face and popped it up there. And then I put another little meerkat hiding in the corner. So if you were lucky enough to get the meerkats during celebration, um, dust them off, bring them out, have a play. And here I've got some of these heart jewels around there. So the same idea with the heart. This one, um, six feet apart, but still in my heart. And I thought that was appropriate for the meerkats being inside the heart. And then another little meerkat there with a couple little hearts coming up. And another one here. So this is similar to what I've seen where they had the two meerkats and a line between them. Um, so the one and a half meters apart were close at heart. This is just a old piece of designer series paper that I had cut for a heart for some reason. I don't know why. So it lent itself quite nicely and just did a border of the yellow there. And again, another little masked meerkat on the inside. Then here we go, quarantine and chill, and know we are thinking of you. Uh, I just love the colors of this. This is the Knight of Navy and Rich Razzleberry, uh, which lends itself to this section of the designer series paper. But even though this is not Rich Razzleberry there, it kind of makes you think it is the way it's done. And just a little heart there. And there we go. Sending hugs from a distance. Now this, um, this part of the heart, which is covered up, because uh, I glued that part down, when I print it, because it was um, so close to the edge of my paper and I'm having ink problems, uh, there was an ink issue there, and that part of the heart didn't come out. So um, I still cut it out, didn't throw it away, and then when I made the card, it lent itself perfectly because you don't need to see that. So except for me telling you, um, you would never know. And then I put some of the little shiny hearts right inside there. And then it's got the little strip there. This one is almost completely from projects that never got finished in the past. So again, I've got the hexagon. Um, Valentine's project that I didn't do. Uh, if you have a close look, see it's kind of shiny, the pink. So I actually did it on the um, gloss cardstock, I believe. And I uh, did different colors of um, pink. I can't remember if I watercolored them or if I spritzed them. And um, then I think I used inside little hearts, but I didn't use the outside image. Um, and the same with this heart there. This piece here, I was playing with trying to do watercoloring. I'm not the best at. Um, so that's been sitting around for probably a year or so. And this one, I think it comes together quite nicely because you have the bit of pink and then the blue just gives it a bit of a, a jumping out at you. So sending love and support. And then just a few little hearts. Um, again, from the Nine Lives set. <clears throat> so here we've got, um, again, one with um, my attempt at the, uh, sp I think they were called sprinkles back then, um, sprinkling them and spraying them, and I just didn't like the way the colors came out. Uh, so this is cut with the stitched, I think it's the stitched Sweetly dies. Uh, so stay safe, stay apart, flatten the curve. 
These two bits are not stamping up, I must admit. Um, I got these, they hold toothpicks, get pushed down there. I got those from a secondhand shop or something. Um, they were getting rid of them and they said, oh, you do paper craft here, take them. Um, and so I think they actually go quite well. Those colors kind of go um, with everything else. And the uh, cardstock in the background, again, was a piece I'd cut out and just set aside and hadn't used. So ways to use up your stock. Here we go. Some people watching might recognize this. Uh, I think it was two years ago. That was the fad uh, inking up your string and then pulling it through to get these interesting images. So I did that quite a bit. I made some lovely cards. I think I've given them away or sold them since then. But this was one that I had left over. And it just lent itself very nicely to um, the colors I had here. Little Butterfly, I punched, uh, stamped and punched out um, about a year ago when the Butterfly dual, Duo Punch first came out. And so just put the Spread Joy Not Germs there. Another one using things that I had before. Uh, printed this out, and those colors seem to lend themselves perfectly to the bubbles. Now the bubbles, again, was from that Butterfly set. Um, and they just seem to go quite well with the way my um, printer had printed out because we've got the blue, the orange, the pinky red, and the green. And those are the colors I happen to have stamped. They might not be the exact colors, but they look close enough. And then I just put some bubbles on the inside. And this paper, as I said, it's just got a little um, self, a little um, like uh, post-it note adhesive so it can be pulled off for people to use. So it's nice, uh, happy coincidence when you find things you can use. Here we go, sending hugs, um, and this is from a distance. I didn't buy the uh, heart punch, so I just fussy cut around there. Uh, this is the one of those um, DSP pieces that I had from the Double Wonder. I've just turned it over to lend itself to the purple that's in there. And then the Clips of Coral is what you have on the heart, and that, which... Um, you can see how my printer wasn't printing properly in the corner. That is actually um, supposed to be petal pink, which is what the scalloped card is, petal pink. Another one. Um, I had cut this out. This one isn't... Oh, there you can see it. So this one actually has a stitched line around the circle, and I'd cut it out, and then I thought, you know what, this whole together thing um, would go really well with our puzzle piece um, die. So I did the puzzle there, stuck it onto the background. This was a leftover um, oval that I had from a project I didn't, uh, didn't need for. And it just didn't really lend itself nicely. I didn't like the, how it looked, so I just threw it through the um, subtle embossing folder. And as you can see, you get some lines, and it just makes a difference. And the background, um, the plank background, uh, tried that, I think, two years ago. Uh, with the embossing folder where you ink up the inside of the embossing folder and then you run your paper through to emboss it and then you get some of the ink onto um, the cardstock. So I was just trying that out and I had a couple pieces of um, crumb cake that I'd tried that with. So um, that's been sitting around for ages and I just got it out and thought, huh, that looks good together. And I just popped some little hearts in the corner to go with the hearts on the outside. And there, another one of the cards from the um, scallop set. There's four colors um, in that set. So, did the little hearts here. They were actually stamped in the rich razzleberry, but um, it doesn't look the same when it goes on to color. And I just punched that out with the circle punch and then the die cut. So it, go it fits perfectly inside there and it just makes it have a bit of interest. Another one, um, I think I went to a class a couple years ago, and uh, they had this uh, embossing folder. So I tried it out just to see what it was like. I wasn't actually making a card, but I was told, hey, you can make whatever you want, take it away. So I did, and it's been sitting around waiting for me to do something with. Um, so I finally did. So um, this is the gray background, and then even though that's Calypso Coral, and this one might be Grapefruit Grove, I think, um, because of the way it printed, it just goes together quite nicely. And then I just added a few hearts. 
again leftover from a previous project I was doing for Valentine's. The hearts I showed earlier that had a whole bunch of hearts at the bottom, the insides pop out. So I used the outline for the card and had all these little inside bits. So I just popped it there just to bring some continuity to the inside. These two are actually skinnier than a normal card base. See that they're skinnier? So those were a couple strips I had left over from cutting um, something off to use and I thought well I'm not going to waste them so I just folded them in half and decided to make skinnier cards. These pieces were all left over from a project as well. Um, I would used the label punch to punch out sections that I had something else in and those were the leftover pieces and instead of throwing them out like a lot of people do, I put them in my little pile um, and when I was putting this card together these again these layers I had sitting around from um, inside cards if you've watched any of my other videos I quite often cut the inside out uh, to use la later on because you don't see it when you do the layers so that's what I had there and then these pieces just sort of lent themselves color wise so I just stacked them up and I embossed, um, you can just see the scripty embossing on the blue because when I first looked at it, it looked a bit too flat to me. So I've got scripty embossing there. I had thought about embossing um, on that gray, but as you can see, it's got a little bit of texture to it. So this just says, just feeling the need to reach out and it says hug, which has been crossed out. It says send a card to someone. So that's one of the other sayings that you can get. I quite like the colors of this one. And on the inside, the white card doesn't go edge to edge because, again, it was just a little bit of scrap I had left over, and I thought, no point in, you know, cutting a piece. I'll just pop it in where um, it fits. So here, similar thing. I had these pieces left over. Um, it was from the same... Some of them are from the same... Um, designer series set. I can't think of the name. It's been retired probably for a year now. Uh, but I had those strips so I just put them there and I chose to go with the garden green here because there's garden green in the backgrounds of every piece. So I thought that might help it pop out. Um, I believe this is Pacific Point in the blue. And again I had a piece of the skinny cardstock left over for them inside. So this one I've just been working on my home body. Um, which I haven't, <laughs> but maybe somebody I give it to um, can say that they have. Another one with a background I had sitting around. So this was um, what I had originally done with the um, hexagon um, backgrounds. And I had a couple bears. It was a class I did, and there were a couple bears between it. Um, and so this was one of my leftover pieces that had never been used. And I know there's a little bit of green there, but it just, um, you know, most of it was blue. So what a year this week has been. And then I just put the hang in there um, on the inside there. So another reusing old bits. Another piece that I've had sitting around for a while. So this background, I was trying my hand... Um, it's shimmer paper. I don't know if you can see. The paper is actually shiny, so it's um, gloss paper. And I was just trying um, different colors. I'm not even sure what colors those were um, because, of course, once the blues, and I think they were kind of a red and a blue, once they mix together, they kind of turn a bit purpley. So that's been floating around, doing nothing. And I just felt that it actually lent itself quite well to the color um, that printed out here. Everything will be okay. We just can't see what okay looks like from here. So that color matched there. And then these other bits were left over from a class I was preparing for um, two Christmases ago, I think it's been. So they were just little um, frames. Uh, I think the stamp set might have been frosted frosted frames or something like that and little stars and, and different colors left over so the purple matched here and then I decided on the base of the card based on that blue and I believe this is the um, seaside spray it might be um, or balmy blue I'm not sure so that was already shiny and a um, bit of uh, uh, the glitter on it and a bit of um, 
fine tip glue pen dried to give it shininess so that was already there and I just left it as is and just layered it up to give that effect uh, and then I had a few pieces left over so I just popped a couple on the inside to um, bring the inside to the outside so that's one of those where you can have uh, wintry or Christmas type things and just use it anytime now I love the pajama jokes that you get in this set there's lots of toilet jokes and pajama jokes so this one uh, and hopefully you can see it I changed out of my night pajamas into my day pajamas to send you this card so there was a demonstrator a couple demonstrators online that showed how to do a template to make it look like pajama bottoms so um, I did that did a template these were um, these are old designer series paper and this is what I was using um, for my first cards uh, and then I made up my own template for the t-shirt top and just tied a little bit of ribbon to make it look like you know you tie the um, pajama bottoms up and piece of designer series paper that I just had cut lying around so that background lent itself to which color card I was going to use and it these pinks almost go together so based on the stamping here made me decide what color pajamas so looks like night pajamas into day pajamas and then another pajama one so um, this one miss you hoping that by staying home more things change oh sorry see I think they should have had the word more on the next line because I don't read this properly it says miss you hoping that by staying home more things change than my pajamas so I think there should either be a comma or the more should be on the next line and then this says thinking of that as a positive thing happy quarantine so here that's um, a uh, idea I got from other demonstrators with the pajamas and this is our current um, designer series paper um, it's on the golfing there's golfing um, emblems on the other side of this with a few little um, sequins so that's a bit more plain but I just thought it looked quite cute showing different pajama bottoms and this one the words kind of let me know what I was going to do with the card so business on the top PJ's on the bottom so I think they're trying to make the pun with the, the whole mullet because um, here in New Zealand the mullet um, they talk about business in the front party in the back um, you know the mullet hairstyle not um, not an animal <laughs> So uh, for here, those were images that were in a celebration set. So I stamped those in the Knight of Navy, which matches the ribbon. Fussy cut them and just thought I was going to put some pajamas on the bottom, um, you know, the pajama bottoms. But I just didn't like the way it looked. And I just thought, you know, having the um, blue um, gingham uh, there makes it look more kind of pajama-like. But then the nice wood and the different parts for the top of a businessman's suit just lent itself quite nice to this card and then when I cut it I hadn't decided how much room because I was going to do half and half but because the tie was so long I had to do this a bit longer so I ended up cutting the pieces um, smaller so I ended up having extra bits so I carried it through on the inside with the top and the bottom so those are all the cards that I've made that I'm going to be giving out in mailboxes, popping them here, there, and everywhere. Um, I'd love to know what your favorite card is. and Pop it into the um, comments. I believe I ended up with 40 cards. I really like the meerkats. Those, my favorites, are the meerkats. I love how this one came out. Thing is, I'd never be able to replicate that. <laughs> I'd try, and I never would. And I also love the um, quarantinis. Um, those are my two favorites as well as the toilet roll humor with everybody um, getting uh, all the toilet paper buying all the toilet paper but that just goes to show you that there's all kinds of different things you can do um, with the sentiments so I hope that you choose to um, purchase yours uh, to that so that the money can go to the charities that need it at this time and if you um, want to know any more about these, I will be doing a blog um, about these cards um, in the next day or so. I've been making cards 
These cards I spent like the last couple days making because I made them all so different. I was going to start out and just put sentiments onto the Double Wonder um, cards, but in the end I went a bit <laughs> overboard. So I will be doing a blog post with photos of these so you can have close-up photos of them. I already have some photos on my um, Facebook page, but have a look at the blog in the next few days. Um, I will also um, probably show you how to do the little template for the pants and the shirt. Um, and if you want to purchase any of these sentiments that you see here, go to the website that I showed at the beginning of the video. I will put it in the description as well, so you can click and go there. You do not need to buy through a demonstrator. It's uh, You buy directly from there, and it doesn't link to a demonstrator at all. But you do have to have a card that you can use, so a debit or credit card, and you also have to have a email because it emails you the link. It will pop the link up right after you pay for it, but you also get an email to the link so you can refer back to it later on if you want to um, download the file at a later date. Again, these are copyrighted images, so if you do use anything, um, create cards that you were to on sell, you must put the stamping up, the at stamping up on the back of your cards to show that the images are copyrighted for stamping up. That's part of the angel policy. So they don't mind if you sell things you've made with the images, that's fine. You cannot on sell the images on them on their own. Okay. So um, other than that, I hope you enjoyed that. Please give me a thumbs up. I'd love to see, um, know which cards you like the most and maybe even see some of your creations. Uh, you can also go to my website if you're in New Zealand and want to purchase anything. You can go to my website at michellecritchley.stampinup.net. Uh, if you don't already have a demonstrator, if you have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, please contact them if you want to order anything. And I hope you've enjoyed looking at that. And I should have another um, fun video for you in the near future. Thanks for watching. Bye.